it's GLT and Happy New Year! So, I have the first review of the new year, which is one of my birthday presents. This is the Lego Ninjago Season 9 Stormbringer. This is set number 70652, age recommended for 8 to 14. This set was quite fun to build. It was the first one I built. Um, on the back, you can see that it can be combined with another set. Um, the Lego Boost kind of robot. And you can build your own Bring the Dragon to Life. That's kind of cool. Um, it says here that you can collect the Dragon Armor. Which I think I have all of them because of the, all the sets I have. You can see the playability at the bottom. And I really like this. So, I thought for the new year, let's try something new. So, I'm going to do some different transitions and show off the minifigures first off. So, here we have Jay in his Season 9 hunted uniform. He's really cool in this season, especially with him being in the first realm. And there's a lot of stuff going on. And it's really cool. So he comes with this kind of nunchuck um, weapon with this kind of sigh on the end. And then he comes with this, which I believe is the dragon blade. I believe. Don't know how he got his hands on it, but oh well. Um, of course, with the new mask, it is two pieces. It is a pain to get on and off. But it is effective in a way. So he has his angry face. And he has his very positive face. It is still the um, the print from the Ninjago movie. I do wish that they would upgrade the faces a little. Because I believe I've heard rumours that they are using them for the season 10 sets. But other than that, that's pretty much it for Jay. So here we have Zane, he's also in his season ten, season 9 hunted armour. I really do like the look of him, he is really cool and he comes with this katana that is attached to this kind of wooden base and then he comes with his bow and arrow along with the quarrel at the back. As well as Jay, he also has the two mask piece. Um, he only has one face, which I guess is new for season 8 and 9. On the back, he does have that piece at the back, which I have no idea what it is. It's weird and complicated, and I tend not to question it. But there we go, there is Zane. So, next we move on to the bad guys. This is one of two. This is Muzzle. And he is really cool with this new um, shoulder piece. And it does connect to the hood. He is holding this really cool weapon, which I'm really intrigued about. It kind of has the same clip as what the chain kind of gun has. And then he also comes with a katana as well. But I'm just going to remove them to show you the armour. Look at that. That's really cool. And of course, he does have printing underneath. This hood is like the ninja hoods, but moulded differently so that it can attach to this. It also has a place at the back where you can just slit the katana in. And I love that. I really want them to use this piece more. So, he does have printing underneath, it's just the fact that it is really hard to get this off. Just because his head is really stuck in there. But that's really cool, and I really do like that. It is a really neat kind of moulding for something that's brand new. And I believe they have used more of these in other sets, but I need to open them and build them. But other than that, let's move on to the final figure, I suppose. Here is the final figure. This is Daddy No Legs. And I am really impressed with just the leg kind of part where they've made him half 
machine, half human still. I really like that. It's really kind of cool. So, of course, he comes with this, um, this chain in this transparent, translucent orange. I love that. It clips onto the back here. And on the box, it shows that this can connect to the dragon itself to actually look like that it's being captured. Of course, Daddy Longlegs comes with this really cool blade. And I like it. There is an extra one as well. So you can use it for other things. But he is so cool. So of course he uses the old style mask. And he has a really cool face. He's really cool. And I love the reuse of the Nada Khan hairpiece. It is really nice to get that back. Considering we will probably never see Ninjago Season 6 ever again. In sets. But that's really cool. So now that we have done the figures, let's move on to the builds. So here we have the dragon and this little shrine here. This is where the golden dragon armor shoulder plate sits. It is loose on there so it can't easily fall off just because it's connected to this. This is really cool and I have seen um, in the Dragon Pit and Diesel Nod that this is used on Teen Master Wu and I love it. It's so cool to get it. This is, I believe, the second piece of armor that I own because I already have the Dragon Blade. But I like that it's just a tiny little shrine that's really sweet. So, moving that aside, here we have the big boy. We have the Stormbringer right here. He is huge. I mean, not as big as Firstborn, but this is cool, though. I really like how it looks. With these little eyepieces underneath here, they are printed. There are no stickers in the set. There are two of these. There is one on this side as well. They are both printed, and I'm really impressed by that. So, of course, they have the normal built kind of head, which is usual. But I do miss that they used to use the moulded heads. I don't believe they're bringing them back in Season 10, which is sad. So, of course, the neck here has a ball joint, so you can manoeuvre that and get some really cool poses. Um, the mouth can open and close, just like that, and underneath, in there, you can see there are some flick missiles. There is an extra one, so do not panic. Um, so if you just flick that, fires instantly. They are really good. Um, up here there is a little quill that can pose up and down, and there is one over here too. These parts can move from side to side because they are on clips and there are four of them in total. On the back of the dragon there is this little seating area that you can position Jay on or someone, maybe a dragon hunter has secured it. That is really cool. You can sit him down but I feel sit standing up is quite enough. Um, on the sides, they have these really cool wings. They are on little ball joints behind, so you can get some really cool positioning with that. I love that. Then these are on little clips, so they can be moved from side to side. There are two of them, one each side. This little part can go up and down as well, because it is on a clip, and I have just broken it. That's very fun. But... As you just saw, it is hard to kind of break them, so I would like play with caution because these can be broken. Um, on the back part here, there are these little um, bars. Like I said with um, Daddy No Legs, you can clip this to there so it actually looks like he's being captured or something. So there we go, it actually looks like that he has just captured the dragon, which is really cool. They have two of these on each side, so it's very nice. 
Um, moving towards the tail, this is cool. I really like this tail. Um, over here there is this little feature where you can swing it from side to side. All of these are on separate little swing joints so they can each part be removed. And then there's this little tip at the end. This part is plastic but the end is rubber so then no one can poke eyes out which is very nice. Um, on the feet, legs themselves, each of them have joints themselves so they can move up and down, front and back. And then the feet each have joints, little ball joints so you can position the feet. And then even the little nails have little joints as well so you can do some really cool positioning with that. Um, I really do like this set, it is really cool. One of the great dragons from season 9. I am glad that they have made 3 out of the 5 we see, 6 maybe. But I really like these. So, out of season 9, this has to be a great one so far as I didn't really think... Um, the first part of being in Ninjago was that good, just because it's in Ninjago and we can expect it as being an apocalyptic scene, but the season 9 in the first realm has really given some more character, especially to the ninja and the dragon hunters, and I really hope to see them again, but this is one of four reviews I'll be doing on season 9, because I have three sets left. I hope you enjoyed this new style of recording, it is just trial and error, and I shall see you in the next video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more, don't forget to ring the little bell so you can be in notification of any new review I put up, and I shall see you guys next time, bye!